What's up? I'm Daniel, and I'm going to show you how I made me. First, I created a 3D model of my head. I use Blender, but it works with any 3D model program. Then I just export that model as an OBJ file. Now I import my OBJ file into After Effects, and I can move it around the same as I could any other 3D layer. Next, I'm going to parent my face pre-comp that I already made to the head. First, I'm going to bring the face pre-comp into my composition, turn it into a 3D layer, and then over here, I'll switch from one view to two views. Then I'll drag my face pre-comp to the front of my object and parent it. And now my face will move around with my head. Next, I'm going to add some lights. First, I added an ambient light, which flattened everything out. To get some of that shading back, I'm going to add an environmental light. With my environmental light, I'm going to rotate it and move it to the back of my head. That way I get some of those details while keeping some of that flat look that I'm going for. Now for the fun part, I'm going to rig my face with joysticks and sliders. First I'm going to do my mouth. I create a closed, open, smiling, and frowning position, and then I select all those keyframes and create a joystick. But I want to move this to my parent comp, so I click this button over here. Now that my joystick's in my parent comp, I can move my mouth around while staying in the same composition. Next I'm going to do my teeth. First I created separate layers for my top and bottom teeth, and then I matted them to my mouth layer. Now I'm going to create two different keyframes, one with my teeth open and one with my teeth closed. Then I select those two keyframes and create a slider. Now with my slider selected, I'm going to hit move to parent comp. And then in my parent comp, I'm going to click create UI sliders. Now I can control my teeth opening and closing from my head composition. I'm going to follow the same steps for the tongue and the eyes. For the eyes, I wanted to be able to close each of them separately, but also have them blink together. First, I created a slider for each eye opening and closing. And then for my blink, I created two keyframes, one with both eyes open and one with both eyes closed. And then with those keyframes selected, I created a new slider. Now all that's left is to animate my head moving. First, I make the front facing, then right, left, up, and down positions for my head. And then with those keyframes selected, I create a new joystick. Now my head and my face can all be animated in the same composition. Now with the head animated, we're ready to drop it into our scene. Alright, that's all I got. I'll see you next time. Happy animating!